Mike Gourmet from Gourmet, Mike Gourmet Insurance is here today. And Mike, you're also, of course, the, the chairman of the Honeybee Chamber of Commerce. I think that's fair to note, right? Yeah. Um, you gave actually a wonderful first address at the chamber dinner. And what we're seeing today in the community, in Huntington Beach, are some people a little bit nervous, perhaps? Sure. Um, business and so forth. What would you say to those people based on what you said? at that annual chamber dinner? Well, I encourage people to stay involved in the chamber uh, actively, uh, find committees in nonprofit organizations to be involved in, and just stay visible. There's a term in marketing called TOMA, Top of the Mind Association. And when people come into the market, right, for whether it's tanning or insurance or car repair, they're going to remember one or two, maybe three names that come to the top of their mind. If you stop advertising, you stop marketing, you stop the personal visibility, you're going to stop TOMA. And that means your competitors are still out there working hard are going to have an advantage over you. And there's a much bigger change in market share during a challenging economy than during an up economy because so many people cut back on their marketing and so few expand upon it and or become more creative with it to get more more value for their dollars. Right. So at times like these, it's more or less you've got to push then, now, than when times are really great and everybody's coming through your door. Now is when marketing is chief and, and foremost. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because again, for every dollar you spend now, there's fewer dollars than your competitors are spending. So you're getting more mileage, less competition at the same time. Right. Now, obviously you're a fine example, Migrament Insurance and so forth. How did you you start your business. How did it begin for you and how did you, without giving away any trade secrets my friend, how do you market yourself? I'm in the insurance business now for 16 years. Prior to that I was in the marketing and magazine business for 13 years. A magazine called originally Household, then Affluent Living. And we did what we call vertical marketing. So as a representative I handled, for example, patio furniture, barbecues, I handled the travel section of the magazine, and I had an exclusive in those industries. No other rep in the company could sell or write an article or present an article in any of my fields and likewise their fields were limited okay to them and so as the magazine expanded from Orange County to San Diego San Diego to LA LA to San Francisco I was able to maintain a client base by being fully integrated into the industry so we would be involved on the board of directors for the associations and we got to know all the key people and all the people to get information from and that's how we grew the magazine. I took the same concept for my business and decided to be a specialist in Huntington Beach. So when I quit the magazine business, so I joined the Chamber of Commerce immediately, joined the networking group immediately, got extremely active in committees, uh, got involved in the YMCA uh, with the Indian Guides just so I have time with my kids, but the net result was also I got to meet a lot of new people a lot of great dads, a lot of great families, and that became the basis of, of my clientele. I got to actually do business with my friends. So my whole key was just to focus on one community and put all my effort in both charitable work and in marketing, magazine advertising, other types of publications. I did it all in one area because I can't afford to market to Orange County or to California. So I concentrated my dollars into one localized community. So you're saying stay engaged. Stay engaged, be consistent. Be consistent, be at the top of the mind. Stay in front of people as much as you can. There you go. And uh, the time will take care of itself, right? It takes a long time to develop a base of clientele, but once you do that and you're visible and maintain visibility, then you're going to maintain your client base too. But in a down market, it's the consistency that ultimately will win out, right? Absolutely. My business is up about 15% this year. There you go. And, and he's a mean barbecuer. <laughs> Mike Gourmet, thanks, buddy. Thank you. All right.